Hello everyone, this is Shinobi, once again with another Awakened Chaos in our video. Okay, so A is dropped in there, update, I'm not going to discuss a lot of things about the update, I have already given a sneak peek on it, and it's basically just the same thing that I had already mentioned, except for a few things about arena, backpack fixes, hero mastery, where they replaced the support heroes true strike mastery with inspire that is increased all team members attack anyways i'm not really interested in masteries because i ha i don't have any mastery on my heroes it's not going it's going to take a long time for us to get masteries for legendary heroes so yeah go ahead make the changes right so basically i was trying to have a look at the new heroes that we got so first let's look at the limited summons so they have changed limited summons i don't know how good this is but in a sense i don't think it's really going to benefit us except that you get one more means of getting light dark heroes so light dark heroes are available was available from advanced summons and now it is available from limited summons as well so i think like every single time you're doing limited summons you have like 0.1 percent chance to get a light dark legendary hero which is equal to you do a thousand pulls and then you get one light dark and because it's not guaranteed it can be more than a thousand pulls okay so anyways we should have had some kind of like you know limited summon in the sense that it is limited and guaranteed that you will get one light dark then it would have been better because in any case there's not many who have good light dark and it's really light and dark okay so let's look at the new heroes that we have got let's go to the index let's go to visitors by sea and look at alicia so i had shown a video as uh, of you know we had a review of the video um, of course, she looks like a Valentine Day champion and of course she's got that tail and her animation does show the different nine tail stuff. Okay, so her trait is Ghost Folks and she places Charm which is counted as a control effect. So that means you can use that in the Void Tower iteration. We need control effects on the heroes, on the enemy then yeah this is also a control effect that is the charm is also a control effect so what does ghost folks does do uh, it increases focus and damage dealt based on the difference between this heroes and the target's initial attack uh, that's going to be a problem in void tower heart because the target's initial attack is already high so I'm not sure how how much of a damage this is going to deal. Of course, since she's got an 8 tier attack at 70, level 70, she's got a base attack of 1644. Let's look at Jeronel. Let's quickly look at Jeronel and see what her base attack would be. Where is she, Jeronel? Yeah, she's here. Her base attack is 1592. Oh, that's great. That's okay, so she's got a base attack more than Jeronel. Oh my gosh, that's a that's pretty surprising. Okay, so her trait it says increases focus and damage dealt based on the difference between this heroes and the target's initial attack. I hope the multiplier is similar to that of Jeronel, but then this is only going to do attack on possibly one target no 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 this is her trait right so every attack that she does could be dealing this damage but the clinger oh my gosh attacks cannot trigger critical strike why do they do that seriously why do they do that <laughs> i can't believe that they will do this to every single hero that is coming in now if the attacks cannot trigger critical strike, how are we going to use her in Arena? So basically you are saying that you should only use this hero as 
a support hero and not as an attack hero even though she has got a base attack that is higher than that of Kerona. I can't believe this. Can't believe this. <laughs> so every two attack on the same target applies charm to the target for one turn. Again, what does that mean? So let me see if any of her target has got multiple multi hits. Any of her skill has got multi hits. No. So that means she has to she can deal that only every two turn. And that too are charms that is only valid for one turn. So you have to basically ascend her. So increases focus and damage dealt based on the difference between this hero's and the target's initial attack. Attacks cannot trigger critical strike. Every two attacks on the same target applies charm to the target for one turn and damage reduction to this hero for two turn. Basically, man. I don't understand. I don't understand why every two attack when she's got only a single target. And the charm is only for one turn. And it's only to single target because she's only going to hit single target attacks damage to deal 165% damage to one enemy her ultimate it deals damage to uh also to to this yeah again this one is again only to one enemy i don't see it doing it to any more than one enemy so what does this mean why give such a trade well, well, I'm not going to be super. I'm just going to say that she is only a support hero. And of course, not even though she's got the best kind of attack stat on out there, she's basically meant for being support because she's not going to deal any critical strike. So yeah, just, and, and her charm is also not going to happen every turn. It's basically going to happen every two turns, even though it's only to one target. I don't understand why. Okay, so her basic uh, skill, it deals random stats down for two turn after dealing 165% damage to one enemy and also recovers 10% max health. Okay, so she's going to recover her own health. Yeah, that's great. Of course, she's able to survive. That's good for a support hero. She's also going to deal random stats down. That's what we saw on the other day. She was dealing... Uh, speed down so it seems like she's able to deal speed down or crit rate down or crit damage down or focus down or resistance down yeah that's fine so she's going to be dealing one random stats down every single basic so her special is again a passive so when an enemy casts support ability launches a counter attack oh 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 so that is the counter attack one for her so when an enemy casts support ability launches a counter attack with the special with the special ability to deal 200% damage and apply defense down two for two turns, also gains shield equal to 30% max health for two turns only once per turn. Okay, that's fine. But she said still getting that shield for two turn, so she's going to do that every turn. She's getting this refreshed every turn, so it's only going to happen once per turn, which means that if there are more than one support uh, enemies out there and both of them deal support uh, do support uh, ability then she's only going to act once but that's fine she's still able to get that shield and she's still able to do a counter attack with special ability that's great okay but again what's the point she's not going to deal critical strike her trait look at her trait she's not going to deal critical strike attacks cannot trigger critical strike that's her trait and that's possibly why we never saw any critical strike even though the damage was pretty high in the uh, video we did not see much of a critical strike okay so let's look at her ultimate applies unhealable to one enemy for two turns and deals them 220 percent damage also deals true damage equal to 10 percent of this hero's max health if the targets a wood enemy launches a bonus attack with this special ability oh that's what we were seeing we saw that bonus attack because not because the um, not because she has that sorry not because of other things but because there was who was that i think it was boolean who was in the video yeah so it's because there was boolean out there and urzak okay and urzak 
So she hit Urzag and because she killed Urzag and because she was dealing the damage to a wood enemy, she launched a bonus attack with a special ability. Okay, it's not because she killed Urzag, but because Urzag was a green enemy. Okay, and she's the one who's dealing that unhealable core. So basically, she is going to be on purely support. I don't see any point in using her as being an attack hero. She's only dealing damage to one uh, one enemy target, and she's only going to like she's going to do no crit damage. But yeah, she's going to deal true damage equal to 10% of her max health, not the max health of the boss. Okay, interesting hero. If anybody get them and build them, build her Alicia up, and you find her to be good. But from my, at, at the outset, in my opinion, she's pretty mad. I'm not going to build her up. Uh, yeah, unless I do need some support. Okay, somebody who's going to deal all those uh, defense down up and all those things. But I think this hero, Noelia, is much better in that respect when compared to Alicia. So let's look at her trait. So if the primary, that is, the, her trait is Tidal Surge, or oh, okay, let me also look at her and uh, how she looks. Uh, yeah, another black hero, good. So we're getting, consistently getting black heroes now, which is good. Um, got a nice weapon. Her stats are pretty basic. Of course, she's an epic. She's got an eight year attack. B tier speed and yeah, eight year crit rate. Cool, but her health is pretty low. It's really low, not pretty low. It's really low. Okay, so her trained tidal surge. Sorry, tidal surge. If the primary target's max health is higher than this hero's, gains 50 bonus focus and increases damage dealt by 30 percent. Awesome. Okay, so she. We are talking about primary target, so it doesn't say bosses over here, but any target obviously because she's got only a c health she's going to be like having very very low health so she's going to have less max health than the enemy let's look at the ascension effect if the primary target's max health is higher than this hero's gains 50 bonus focus and increases damage dealt by 30 percent also receives 20 percent max health on each ability cast cool ascension effect Really cool ascension effect. Okay, but I think like I don't want that 20% max health. If she's going to get deal 30% increased damage, I would want that max health to be low, as low as possible. It doesn't matter, I think, it just has to be a little lower because they say that the increase is only going to be 30%. Damage is going dealt is increased by 30%. So it's going to be fixed. So even if you're health is one lower than the other persons, you'll still de deal that 30% max dam increased damage and also gain that 50 bonus focus. So let's look at her basic. So she deals 110% damage to one enemy and applies defense down two for two turns. It does not say a percentage, so that's 100%. If, he, if she has focus, she will deal defense down two for two turns on her basic, which is so much more better than Alicia. Certainly more than much better than Alicia. Of course, she's only going to deal 100% damage to one enemy from the basic because 110% would require her to do the mastery. Okay, defense down to awesome, awesome, that's great. Okay, now her special, she deals 140% damage to an enemy and grants crit damage up to to do this to this character for three turns. And this is on a three-turn cooldown. So basically, this ability is going this crit damage up to, which is 50% increased crit damage on this character, is going to be there permanently. It's on a three turn cooldown and it's on three turns. Awesome skill. And she's going to deal 160% damage. No, 150% damage minus mastery, of course. So it's 150%. Okay. This is again, the special is really good. I like the special. Okay, so removes all negative effects on her ultimate and deals 220% damage to an enemy. Again, wonderful thing. Yeah. If her ultimate, I think like she shouldn't be frozen or stunned, I think, but other negative effects would certainly be removed. Okay, right. 
also applies defense down two to the target for two turn and this is on four turn cooldown so basically if you look at her basic skill and her ultimate it means that she will have she will be able to place defense down two permanently basic is for two turns and ultimate is for two turns and ultimate cooldown is for four turns so obviously she will be able to deal defense down two permanently awesome and she's also going to get crit damage up on herself permanently again awesome great so as an epic i think like even though her attack her multipliers are going to be pretty low basically she's got like only eight year attack so she's got really good skills but i'm not sure if she's going to deal that kind of damage as is mentioned but because she's got that crit damage up to permanently on her on herself she's got that 50 percent increased crit damage i think like she should be useful in pve at least in dungeons or even in white tower hard because she's going to deal that additional a lot of damage so you just have to build her back up and also she's also getting, going to get that 30 percent increased damage so basically so she's always going to get that 80 percent increased damage on all her hit because her if you build her with lower max health and with higher attack and higher uh, uh, damage and speed obviously she's going to deal a lot more damage than what her attack stats are being shown because she's going to have a lower base health than the enemy and she's also going to have you know um, these other debuffs and buffs on herself so i think like uh, she is a much better the description is much better than alicia no Elias description is much better than alicia but yes again the disclaimer is i cannot really say this is only an assumption of mine these are only opinions of mine unless i get these heroes and test them i will not be able to say for certain how good they are but at this moment what i think is that Alicia is a little bit underwhelming when compared to what she is supposed to do. I did not, I do not like any of those skills that cannot deal crit damage. If she was dealing crit damage, then it would have been great. Otherwise, just make her purely a support hero. Why give her such high attack stats? And a skill that scales with, you know, the a trait that scales with the difference between initial attack. So if that's the case, then they should have given her you know crit damage as well so that would have made her really great noelia if uh, if her attack was a little bit more higher possibly in str uh, she would have really shined um, i'm not really sure how much of damage she's going to deal but i think like noelia is a little bit better than alicia if you're getting her if i'm going to get her i'll certainly build her up and test her out and see how she does but these are these things are only on paper we will certainly have to test out to see how good they are right so that's my opinion on the new heroes let me know what you think about the heroes please comment on my video please like and share my videos please subscribe to my channel it's very important that you subscribe to my channel it encourages me it you know helps in the analytics and yeah spreads the good word Thank you so much for your time. Peace, love and blessing to all of you. Bye.